Learn along with me. Hey guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you. Now you are no more limited to use the basic fonts. Now you can change the look and feel of your web page completely by using CSS3 properties for the font. Now users will see your web page the way you want to show them. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamweaver Creative Cloud and the document in which we are going to work. The doc type I am using is HTML5. You can see I have here a very basic web page which contains the wrapper, header and article. And I am also using this h1 tag and several p tags here in the article tag. Now here is a CSS affecting all of this elements, wrapper, header and article. Let's see the browser preview for this document. So this is how our web page looks like this now. Now let's try to change the fonts of this web page to give it a new look and feel. To change the fonts, let's google something. There are number of websites available to download any font. You can see, you can go for any of the web page. But here I will google something like elegant fonts. And this is the web page I want to open. And the page number 2. I would like to download this font wedding bells. So let's download it. Let's download one or two more fonts. Here you can see time burner. Let's download this font. You can download any font from any website which suits to you. I am going for this too. So fonts got downloaded. Let me check out my download folder. Here we go. And let's open this folder. Copy this wedding bells font, true type font file and paste it in my local folder. So here is my local folder. Let's paste it here. And let's do the same for another font also. For the time burner, let's open it. Copy this true type font file and paste it in our local folder. Now, as this is our document, now, now in the style sheet, let's call those fonts one by one. So, the property we are going to use is at the rate font hyphen face. Now let's have our curly brackets. We have to give the name to those fonts which we have downloaded. So here let's have font hyphen family. Now you have to choose the name you want to give to your font. That name can be anything. Let's have it my first font. Now we need to browse that font here using src so let's go to our local folder the font i'm calling is wedding bells let's hit ok and very same as i'm using two fonts so i will call the another font also at the rate font hyphen face curly brackets and again the font family the name I would like to call this font my second font you can name this fonts according to your wish now let's have src the location for that font the source for that font so here is time burner let's hit ok semicolon here here also now let's save this much up now for my h1 element i would like to have the 
font family as this my first font this must be the name you have chosen let's save this much and let's refresh our web page see our header fonts got change as i have applied this rule to my h1 element here is i am header right now let's do the same for all of the p elements inside article tag so let's have p tag and this is our curly brackets and again font hyphen family now the family again let's have our second font which we have downloaded my second my second font let's save it up let's refresh see this is how our web page looks like now so now you can play with the fonts in your web page using css3 font face property So this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye